What's on the menu for today? Well, I think I'm gonna make risotto. And I could take out the pots and pans and make a whole production of it, put it on the stove top, cook it, stir it, do the whole thing. There's a whole thing you can go through. I mean, if you do risotto right in the Italian style, you really have to stir it and make it right. Now, I don't like to do that. I'd rather take a shortcut and make it a heck of a lot easier on myself. And that, for that, I'd like to use the Instant Pot. It's a much easier solution, uh, much faster, much more efficient. It's a one-pot dish. And I'm gonna make a mushroom risotto, so it's just the, the arborio rice, um, some mushrooms, some onions, and then olive oil and wine. And that's it. There's nothing else to it. So you can make it a vegan dish because you can add the cheese at the end to make it vegetarian. And that's all there is to it. There's nothing else. It's really easy, it's very quick, and it is so good. I'm telling you, this is one of the easiest dishes you could ever make. And you could certainly substitute and make it something else like a seafood risotto or some other thing that you like. But here you go, I'm gonna make a mushroom risotto. So I'm gonna start by chopping up some onions. I got one onion I'm gonna chop up. And then I'm going to, uh, once I've got it chopped, I'm gonna go ahead and put some olive oil in the, in the Instant Pot. I've just got it on saute. And I'm gonna put some olive oil in, just enough to kind of get a little bit at the bottom there. As Soon as it gets a little warm, I'm gonna throw in my onions. Now all I wanna do is take the onions and just brown them slightly. Just get the juices to release, start to give a little flavor in there, because it's gonna impart a lot into the uh, entire risotto. So give them a little stir, cook them around. It's gonna take about five minutes to do the cooking that you wanna do to get to the point where they're slightly brown and uh, really tasty. You can start to smell their fragrance as they're cooking. Now, what I'm gonna use is arborio rice. This is the most important part of building a risotto. You have to use the right kind of rice. When you're ready and the, the um, onions are all nice and sauteed, you're gonna put two cups of rice in here. Don't have to do anything to it, just put it in the Instant Pot. It's still on saute, and you're going to go ahead and just start uh, moving it around. What you're gonna find is it goes from being very white to sort of translucent to white again. And when it gets to be white again, throw a little white wine in there. That'll give it just a little bit of flavor and give you a little moisture and deglaze the pan just a little bit at the bottom, so that way everything's coming in. Now for the mushrooms, I'm gonna use some baby bellas, some shiitakes, and I have a bag of uh, mushrooms that are frozen from Trader Joe's. And I'm gonna use that combination of mushrooms to get a lot of flavor in there. I want a little, really good mushroom flavor in here. So I'm gonna chop them all up and throw them in. They just need to be chunks. And as soon as they're all in there, I'm gonna stir them up and I'm almost ready to uh, start cooking. It's that simple. There is nothing more to this than this. This is that easy. And you don't have to stand at the pot, stir it. You don't have to do anything. You're just gonna put them in and basically walk away. Now there is one other ingredient we're gonna need and that's gonna be a little bit of vegetable stock. So we take the vegetable stock we've got, we need about four cups of vegetable stock to this two cups of rice and the mushrooms we have in there. So we've, we'll use this uh, vegetable broth we have uh, we'll put the four cups in and uh, we're ready to, uh, to start cooking as soon as we get them in there. And like I said, if you wanted to do some variations on this, you want to make some adjustments, maybe make it more of a vegetable risotto, seafood, anything else that you want to make it, you can certainly do that. Just make some variations on your own. Think of what you'd like, like it to be and then just start doing that. So once everything's stirred up, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up, set it on high pressure for five minutes. It'll take about 35 minutes to cook, but it's a well worth your effort and you can just walk away. Once it's ready, you set it, to, set it to venting, let it vent for about five minutes or so until the little pin drops, and then you're ready to open it up. So it's gonna be a little bit loose like this, a little bit liquidy, but that's okay. You're just gonna give it a little stir, give it a minute or so, and here's what we've got. We've got this delicious, delightful risotto that's ready to eat. You can add a little Parmesan cheese, a little salt, and you are good to go. So good and so easy.